Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is my updated Bath & Body Works body care collection video. So recently I just posted my SAS haul, so I hope that you guys enjoyed watching that. And I am done, I'm done shopping. So it's time to kind of update everybody and, and myself, to be honest, um, about what I have, how much I have, etc. So I am going to show you in this video all the shower gels, body lotions, and fine fragrance mist that I have. I will count them, give, you know, a number kind of tally. And then if I don't show something, you know, like I have a lotion at work or this, that, or the other, I will mention that in that portion. So you know what is not being shown as well. Um, just a quick disclaimer. Most of the products you see will be full. That does not mean that I do not use them. I don't really go back and forth from product to product. Whatever I'm using, I will pretty much, I mean, sometimes this is not all the way, but most of the time I will use a product until it is completely finished. It will go in my empties and then I will start a new one. So just because all these are, you know, most of these look full doesn't mean that I don't use my stuff. This just, these just aren't in use yet. Um, I definitely have more than what I would like right now. So if you guys can see that black bookshelf back there, it has different family photos, mementos, decorations, things like that. But the last shelf of that bookshelf is the biggest shelf. So it gradually it gets a little bit bigger as it goes down. And that is the shelf that I hold all of my body care on. So it's, you know, mainly Bath and Body Works, but it's my Trader Joe's body butters, it's other shower gels from different brands or different lotions from different brands. Um, those new Bath and Body Works dupe aromatherapy lotions, just any body care item that I have that's not currently in use stays back on that shelf. And so kind of my goal or my thought in my head is that all of my items need to fit on that shelf. I'm fine with my collection size if it fits on that shelf. If it gets past that, I have too much. And at this point now, I have too much. So with this haul from the last SAS, I am overflowing that shelf. So I have a bit of work to do over the next six months and just in general to really kind of minimize it and make some room on um, on that shelf. So this is definitely a good reality check for me, for sure. I will be starting a new project, Use It Up, here very soon. So um, you'll be able to see all of those products. But in any case, that is enough chit chat and intro for this video. And let's get into the collection. So starting off with shower gels, I have 17 of them. So I did not pull the body wash that was in my shower currently just because it's wet and figured I could just communicate about that one. So what's in my shower right now is an at the beach moisturizing body wash. So that is the only shower gel not pictured here. So I have an in the sun, another at the beach, an aromatherapy sleep lavender and vanilla, my beloved pumpkin apple cider. I'm going to be so sad when this is gone. One of my favorites, Georgia peach and sweet tea, country apple, iced pear margarita, twisted peppermint, marshmallow pumpkin latte. Again, another favorite, papaya paradise cove, valley black coconut sands, watermelon lemonade, Malibu heat, my beloved Sweet Magnolia and Clementine. And then over here on the end are my latest two additions from this last SAS, Strawberry Pound Cake and Tiki Bay Island Margarita. So definitely I'm stocked on the shower gel front for like the rest of my life. I have 16 fine fragrance mist. So definitely more than I would like to have. <laughs> But for the most part, I feel, you know, pretty decent about it. So I have four of my absolute favorite, Sweet Magnolia and Clementines, Iced Pear Margarita, Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte, Into the Night, Agave Papaya Sunset, Two at the Beaches, A Pumpkin Picking, really wish they would bring this one back. This is so good. Into the Wild. Wild Strawberry, Georgia Peach and Sweet Tea, the newest from the last SAS, Strawberry Pound Cake, and then I have a miniature in Bali Black Coconut Sands. 
And then lastly are all of my lotions. So this is triple moisture body cream, body lotion, hand lotion, foot cream, any type of lotion <laughs> that's captured here. I have 20 of them. So I believe the only thing that's not pictured is a Ultra Shea body cream in Wild Strawberry because I have that at work. But I think everything else I have here, at least I hope so. So I'll start with my triple moisture body creams. I have Portofino Pink Prosecco, Oahu Coconut Sunset, Frosted Coconut Snowball, Forever Red, Vanilla Bean Noel, Bright Lemon Snowdrop, my beloved Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. Up at the top here, we have a Twisted Peppermint. Endless Weekend, which I, oh, I'm, I'm really have been enjoying that lately. Wish I had more Endless Weekend in my collection, but I have not been able to find any at SAS or anything like that. So we'll have to purchase more of that soon. Um, Bali Black Coconut Sands, Hot Cocoa and Cream, Strawberry Pound Cake. And then I have two of the regular body lotions. I don't purchase those. Um, I don't find them to be as moisturizing, but occasionally I get them for like Christmas or gifts or, you know, whatever the case may be. So I have a Frosted Coconut Snowball and Hello Beautiful. And then over the side here, I have just kind of other lotions. So this first one right here is a super soft foot cream. Then we have a paraffin hand cream, an into the night hand cream, the laid on thick hand cream, and the foot fix glycolic acid peel um, foot cream. So those are all of my lotions. My collection is definitely fairly large, but I do go through lotion pretty quickly. Um, I try really to lotion twice a day, once in the morning when I get up or once after I shower. Um, and then, you know, once at night or after I shower in the evening. So lotion is used pretty regularly. Um, but this is a little bit larger than I would like to have at any one time. So those are all of my body care products that I have from Bath and Body Works. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned very soon for my Project Use It Up Bath and Body Works edition intro. I'm really going to try to get back to that like monthly updates and all of that good stuff and trying to minimize this collection a little bit. But that is it. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.